started in the last worksheet now he is asking we know that cell is the basic functional unit but what are life processes and how does a cell perform them he is asking jigyasa didi that if the cell is the basic functional unit how is the cell is doing all the life processes so here this is a example of anatomy of a animal cell in which you can see a animal eukaryotic cell having nucleus nucleolus cell membrane all have been shown in this you can easily see them lysosome vacuoles this is a complete eukaryotic cell plant animal now the jigyasa didi is saying that gyan that all living organism possess special traits they grow excrete they need food they inhale and exhale all these necessary activities are known as life processes you will learn in the class 10th also the different life processes generally we used to say eight life processes now cell has a special component called cell organelles and every cell or every organelle perform a specific task cell is able to perform all its function because of these organelles and every cell has plasma membrane nucleus cytoplasm and these help the cell to perform various activities now the outermost covering of the cell is known as plasma membrane and this plasma membrane allow the entry and exit of some necessary material in and out of cell only certain material can pass through it therefore it is called selective permeable membrane you have to mark this because this will be needed in the at the end of the worksheet answers also the necessary materials like oxygen carbon dioxide nutrients and water etc can enter or exit the cell through plasma membrane by the process known as diffusion and osmosis process actually the diffusion is a simple process in which the material moves from higher concentration to lower concentration and if it is happening through a permeable selectively permeable membrane then it is called as osmosis so the region of high concentration to a region of lower concentration is known as diffusion now there is an activity in which we are showing the effect of concentration of a solution on a cell so the different concentration effect differently on a cell there are three types of solution hypotonic isotonic and hypertonic hypotonic is the solution in which when the water inside the cell is less and the water start entering inside the cell when it is kept in, in a tumbler of so the cells swell up you have seen the resins kishmish or the rajma seeds or any other seeds they start swelling up when they are dipped inside the water that condition is known as hypotonic condition isotonic is the condition in which the concentration of the water in solution and cell is same so the amount of water entering and going out will be remain same and there will be no change in the shape hypertonic solution is the solution in which the concentration of water outside the cell is less so the water from inside the cell comes out and this result in the shrinkage of the cell and this is known as hypertonic solution if we keep this swelled seeds in in the salt solution then it will swell up and this will shrink now the there is a condition in which plants because plants is having an extra membrane outside the cell membrane which is known as cell wall and this is known as plasmolysis the shrinkage of cell membrane of a plant is known as plasmolysis when plant cell loses water through osmosis and the cell content gets shrinked away from the cell wall along with the plasma membrane and this is known as plasmolysis you can see here both the cell wall and cell membrane are intact when we have put it in a certain kind of solution or you can say hypertonic solution the cell membrane start going in insert and the cell has started shrinking and the here the complete shrinkage of cell has taken place now we come to the question answers first question what is the importance of cell membrane cell membrane allow the selective permeable of different carbon dioxide oxygen and different material from in and out of the cell 
exam explain plasmal ovations with diagram this is the last slides which we have seen you can see this one for that answer then which part of the cell is permeable which part of the cell is permeable which it is cell membrane okay then the last question what changes will occur in a resins and rbc when they are placed in an hypotonic solution when they are placed in a hypotonic solution they will swell up because the concentration of water inside the resins is very very less as compared to the outside so the water will enter and result in the swelling up of the this resins and rbcs hope you like this video thank you